This is me playing Roblox inside of Roblox, and today we're gonna play a bunch of these games, and each game will get crazier and crazier, so stay tuned till the end and also please subscribe. Alright, here we are in the first game, and this is the most basic interpretation of all this. There's no screen, there's no fancy game or anything, it's just this. We have a dummy avatar here, and then some basic controls. And we're basically just controlling another Roblox avatar. So as you can see here, I can go up if I want to. I can't hold it down, so if I want to get far enough, I just have to keep spamming this. And then we can take a right turn. We can come forward, take a left turn. The left button doesn't work. We can't go left, actually. So three buttons work, and then I'm assuming this is jump? Yeah, all right, we can jump too. Let's see if I can jump off the edge of the map. Nope, uh, there's a limit. You think I can jump and move at the same time? Uh, kind of, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, just the basic one. Let's move on to something more advanced. Alright, here we are in the next game, and this is probably the most popular and most insane one that you've seen. This game is like 20 million visits, it's really good. And we actually have two different options here. So we have a big screen, and then we have this tiny screen over here. So let's start with the small one. See, with the other one, we're just controlling like a bot. But this one, we're actually controlling a proper avatar, how you'd see on the screen here, and like a map and stuff. And it, correct me if I'm wrong, but if I go out here... Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually an obby built into this. So I'm going to see if we can... Oh, well, okay, that was close. Jump and then move forward. Okay. Maybe it'll be easier on the big screen, so let's move over to this one, which is the exact same thing, I'm pretty sure, and you control the same thing, but it's just easier to see. Drop the computer, and boom, there we go. And it actually looks pretty good. Like, like in the computer, it's kind of pixely, but this one actually looks pretty clean. Okay, there's a, another obby over here. Let's see if we can just complete a little bit of it. Jump and then move forward. Or we <laughs> we fell off of it. There we go. Bro, I keep looking around in the Roblox game because I feel like I'm actually just playing Roblox. This is very weird. All right, when, the, when we fall, we're going to the next game. Okay, we're, we're actually not doing bad. Jump, move a little bit. And then jump, move a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh my god, we're actually... Not one more jump. Oh, I didn't click jump. I clicked thing first. All right, well, let's go to the next game. Alright, here we are in the next game, and you're probably thinking this looks the same. This is actually a car ride this time. Wait, so what, what does button do? Oh, it stops a car. Okay, that makes sense. And then let's just speed up and slow down, as like cart games typically have. Let's see how far we can get. If the car gets stuck, press the red button on the TV. Okay, so let's do that. Reset cart. Let's try it again. Let's go faster this time. If it gets stuck in the same spot, that'll be bad. Okay, not bad. It's actually running really smooth. Once again, it looks pretty good. And yeah, basically it's the same concept. Very cool though. Let's just go max speed and see what happens. Alright, we're at like max speed now. I don't think it's gonna end well. Alright, well, let's go into the next game. Alright, we've played Roblox in Roblox, but now we're gonna move into some more insane games where we're actually emulating Windows in Roblox, which we can play Roblox on. So an emulation of Windows on a Windows computer on Roblox playing Roblox, if that makes any sense. So it just looks like a Windows computer. I mean, it does look a bit janky, but you know what I mean. So let's open Chrome and try getting to Roblox. Okay, we're on Google. Let's go on roblox.com. Roblox download. All right, let's download Roblox. So we're downloading Roblox on yeah, Roblox, which is crazy. crazy. And there's actually a lot of games to choose from. I'm very curious how this works. Let's try Please Donate. How is this going to work? Wait, did it just put me into Please Donate? I'm actually... And if I go here, it's just like the settings. This is really weird. All right, let's go into... You know what? Squid Game. I don't know. Let's just try it. All right, here we are. And as you guys can see, this one's a bit different because I am just playing Roblox, but they're kind of giving the illusion of you playing Roblox, I guess, because the other ones you control a character, but that's when you're controlling your own character. But technically, you're not controlling your character. All right, let's see how far we can get on this real quick. All right, well, <laughs> that was short lived. And before we go, I think I want to try one more app, maybe paint. And I want to write one message. There we go. Please subscribe. Help us reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's go into the next game. All right, here we are in the next game, and you're probably thinking this is the same thing, but it's actually a bit different. All right, here we are. We're back in. And once again, let's go to Microsoft Edge this time. Yeah, see, I made a mistake. Let's connect to the neighbor Wi-Fi. Now let's try playing. Yes. So as you can see, it's moving a bit weird because it's actually emulating this one. The last one, we were just playing a game, but this one's actually like Roblox in Roblox. So right now, I'm playing on a Windows computer, Roblox, in a game where I'm playing a Windows computer emulated while playing roblox that's the most insane thing there is other players here are these real players i'm actually curious actually wait i just saw there's a marketplace i'm curious how this works oh actually wait my entire roblox is broken i'm trying to click back and everything is not working wait i'm gonna rejoin or maybe actually before i try rejoining i'm wondering if i can just reboot it you actually can if that works that'll be so surprising <laughs> we're rebooting but not my actual pc this is so insane 
Let's go back to Roblox. And, uh, alright, it's still broken. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. I'm gonna rejoin, and then we'll try something else. Alright, we're back in. Let's go back to Roblox, and before we click on a game, let's try the Marketplace. I'm clicking it, doesn't work. Let's try a different game, though. The Tree Hobby. Let's see how this works. Alright, right, and this time it looks like a proper game. Let's jump up here. Okay, okay, where do I jump next? I can't see. Oh, okay, wait, there's something over there. And once again, there's other players in this, as you can see. Okay, we did a good jump. Wait, I'm actually curious, how would this look in, if I make it full screen? Oh, it's just even weirder. Whoa, this is actually really weird. Let's make another jump. It's like delayed, like I jump and my character jumps after. Okay, we did good there. One more jump. There we go, jump. When we fall, we'll go in the last game. Well, how do I get up this? Oh, all right, here we are. And you're probably thinking, you already played this game. And that's right, I did. But what I didn't realize was that there's actually a lot of things I missed when I first played this game. And one of the biggest things being, throughout this whole video, I was kind of wondering, how does this work? How do people make games where you control Roblox and Roblox? Like the first one made kind of sense, you know, you're actually, you can see the avatar moving. And then the emulation one also kind of made sense because, you know, you're kind of just playing the game. But how does this one in particular, you know, the most popular one, actually, you know, how does it work? And I was looking around the map and stuff and kind of looking around. And I realized in this corner here, it shows a mastermind behind everything. And this is literally how it works. As we can see here, this is the world that you see on the computer. And right here is the bot. So how it basically works is the same as the other games where you're just controlling a bot. But instead of just like showing it right in front of you, they actually put it on the screen somehow. And in general, it's pretty insane. Like just look here, for example, as we can see, this is the bot right here. And this is what we are controlling. And to prove that, look, remember where the placement is, you know, right in the middle. And if we go back and change it and walk around, it'll actually change here as well. That's kind of how these games work. And we'll use the big one. It doesn't really matter. And look, he's in the same position. So if we move him a little bit, let's put him like in the house, I guess. And now if we go back, he's going to be like right in the door where we left him. Yep, there you go. There he is. So the, all these games kind of follow the same principle and same idea, but it's just the way that they present them is basically different. Sometimes you do a Windows emulation, sometimes you control the bot, sometimes it's through a screen, sometimes you can see the bot. And in general, these games are pretty crazy and pretty fun and a very unique idea on Roblox. And I feel like going forward in the future, especially with like a new updates, it's only going to get crazier. Just recently, Roblox released an update where you can actually control stuff with voice chat now. Like in this viral tweet, he told the bot or the noob to walk away and walked away, told him to stop and stop running. And imagine if stuff like that gets applied to these games where you can control the bot, not just with mouse and keyboard, but with voice chat as well. The possibilities are really endless and pretty crazy. And finally, here I am in another emulation, and I'm going to go here and shut down forever.